Welcome back. We got some more packs. We're going to do some more openings. I just pulled out a stack of packs. Let's move all the things out of the way. Head on over to the top, the toppy boy. This is a bubble mailer that feels a little thick. It's a little thick boy, if you will. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. Throw that over there. Oh, this is a nice one. I can tell from the outsides. And some top loaders. Savagery. All right, so what we're looking at here is some sweet, sweetie boys. Mostly for cube, I believe. We got one copy of Farmer Cotton. Green, white, and X. When Farmer Cotton enters the battlefield, create X halfling creature tokens and X food tokens. That seems really good for an X spell. Like, you're making twice as many tokens as you're paying, plus he's a 1-1 one -one to begin with. So, like, any, any X spell that, like, makes creatures, like, this is just, like, like a Secure the Wastes, which is, like, one white and then X, right? But... This is already a creature, so it's basically still one white and X because the green mana pays for him being a creature. And then you also get that many food as well. I don't know, this card seems really cool. So I picked one up and I was like, that's pretty good. And then we got this, this gentleman, Saruman the White Hand, a 2-5 Grixis Avatar Wizard. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, amass orcs X Rex, that's well's mana value. And then goblins and orcs have ward two. So you're literally making like, if you cast a five mana spell, you make a five five. That seems good. Hence why he's mythic. Two copies of that guy. Champion of Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith. Champions of Minas Tirith. Six mana for a four six. When it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. I'm a big fan of the monarch mechanic. Uh, I think when done well, I guess when it's balanced, it's a really good mechanic, but sometimes there are some oppressive monarch cards that you just can't get out from behind. And then at the beginning of combat on each opponent's turn, if you're the monarch, that opponent may pay X, where X is the number of cards in their hand. If they don't, they can't attack you this combat. So in a two player game, it's very hard to attack you with this in play. Assuming they have a good amount of cards in hand. I picked up two of those guys. And one Buckleberry Fairy, which is actually an Oboro Palace in the Clouds. Not only does this card look gorgeous, but Oboro is like super pricey. So it's really nice to have an, uh, a reprint that's actually significantly less. I think it's like 15 bucks. So that's pretty cool. So nice to have a nice little Oboro. Oboro Borealis. So let's see what we got here. All around me are familiar face. See, this one is taped, but it's taped with like, yeah, it's still like, it's. I still feel like I run the risk of like bending the cards if I don't just slice it here. Yeah, let me just pull it out. That, oh, <laughs> see, that's funny. It's literally just two Odyssey planes. That's pretty hilarious. It's funny because like, what a, what a small little order for, for such a package, you know? Make sure that I'm not missing anything. He's like, actually, there were five in there. You just didn't grab them. Is that right? Nope, that was it. All right. And that was that. All right, what do we got next here? That one was taped in there, but only barely. It was loosely taped in there. And we got a little... Got a little business card here. Sean Alexander Brown, owner of the Gorgeous Gemstone LLC. Not a sponsor, as you can imagine. See, this is tricky. Because, like, the card is really close to the top... So like I'm gonna have to be like really careful and like kind of brace my my hand here so that I'm only 
just barely splitting it so that my, my fingers can do the rest. There we go. That's it. All right. And we got a Helm's Deep. Which is actually a Shinka the Blood Soaked Keep. This is another card that's like 30 bucks, 25 bucks, something ridiculous. But Helm's Deep is only like four to five dollars. So it's really sweet to see these reprinted. Not only reprinted, but it reprinted on like very, very sweet borderless treatments. So that you get that cool alternate art. Good old Shinka. Look how far you've come. Shinka was printed like 20 years ago in <laughs> like Champions of Kamigawa. Oh, did we do it? So a bunch of people in the comments when I first ordered these were like, mm, Kelsian isn't available in non-foil. It's only available in foil. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, that is not correct. It is definitely available in non-foil. So I reordered them. The other person refunded me. They were like, oh, sorry, I mislabeled them. Or I don't have the non-foils or whatever. So they refunded me. And now I do have two foil Kelsey and the Plagues. So these are available in collector packs, I believe. So that's why uh, they're not in the commander decks. In the commander decks, the commander is only in foil. But then they're later reprinted in commander decks. Or uh, collector packs, rather. So yes, to everyone who was like, mm, that's not available in, actually, that's not available in non-foil. They are. And now they're here, so. To be fair, it is kind of confusing um, because a lot of times it's not listed. Like it doesn't say like the set it came from. It doesn't say that it was like, uh, whether it's, a, whether, like if you look at Scryfall, sometimes there's a foil on a non-foil version. But for this one, it just says the foil, I think. Maybe not. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Anyway, we got one more father co farmer cotton. It's still just really good rate. Like, I'm just shocked at this rate. It's very, very good. This is like a secure the waste that you can use as your commander. <laughs> and then it also makes food. I don't know. It's pretty good. And then we got four rosy cotton. Because rosy cotton is actually seen playing some combo decks. But obviously, this is the only alternate art because she's uncommon. So I definitely picked that up because it's pretty cool. So four copies of Rosy Cotton of South Lane. Oops. So. So many Lord of the Rings cards, man. Like this set has been very, very impressive. I'm very, very excited about this set. Like I actually wrote about this recently um, about how like I'm more impressed with this set than I have been uh, of any set in a long time, which is surprising because it's like it's a universe is beyond set. It's not, it's not like a real set. It's not standard legal. It's not even pioneer legal, which are, you know, pioneer is one of the formats that I, I've, I find myself playing the most recently. This is just four copies of Westfold Rider because I saw this being played in a deck and it's a common. So it's just a decent card to have. And then four copies of Elven Farsight for the same reason. Oh, get out of here, you. Can I? Put it over here. Is it, is it my finger? Is it my hand? Anyway, there we go. Scry three, then you reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature, draw a card. Like this feels very pondery. This feels like a green ponder or a green preordain. So kind of cool. It's just a very good card. And I saw it seeing play, so I picked it up. And that's just how things work, you know? Oh, this one's thick. I guarantee you this is a good number of lands. I was wrong. But there are likely some lands in here, so. Oh, and again, it's one of those situations where it's a three ring, it's a third of a three ring, a third of a nine card page, rather. And look, they're in these like beautiful little self, these little contain, these, you know what I'm saying. Even if I don't know what I'm saying, this is a lot of cards. Okay. Let's get these, see what's going on here. I picked up four copies of Murmuring Boss because I don't think I have them. And this one looks super cool. And 
Murmuring Boss is just a good card. It's just a tri land that also is a forest. I said I picked up. Oh, there they are. <laughs> like, where are the rest? Okay, I probably just gave away the goose there. That's not a saying, but maybe we can make it one. Give away the goose. Trademarked. So, yeah, four copies of Murmuring Boss. I picked up this Monarch token because I think it's probably the coolest Monarch token that's been printed so far. At the beginning, instead of draw a card. You know how the Monarch works. But yeah, this is su such a super cool looking token. Is that... That's interesting. The spot for the hologram is down there, but there's nothing there. That's so weird. Wow. That's... Why is that there? But anyway. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of those. And then, same way I did with the other reprints. I got four copies of Wood Elves, because just... It's just a cool version of Wood Elves, man. It's Lord of the Rings Wood Elves. What do you want? What do you want, man? <laughs> uh, okay. Did the same thing for Factor Fiction. What aid have you ever brought, Stormcrow? And what aid do you bring now? It was aid from us that you sought the last time you were here. Worm Tongue. That was not a Worm Tongue voice, unfortunately. Anyway, I got four, four Factor Fictions. Five hostage takers, one for the cube, and then four for just in case. Let's see if we can get a good look at that guy. These are just these just look cool. I mean, I think that I really love the the borders on these on the universes beyond cards because I just feel like they really pop. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen halflings. Because we got farmer cotton over here. So we need we need halflings for Farmer Cotton, you know? Let's do one more. Things are falling everywhere. I have a big pile of trash here. That's Michael's home. Oh, beautiful. Satisfying to end on a shipping shield. Oh, look at that. It's our last copy of Undiscovered Paradise, number four. Again, for pre-modern. And... Our fourth copy of Parallax Tide as well. So both of these are meant to be MP, I believe. And they look about that, so no noticeable real damage. So yeah, that was our that was another haul for us. Lots of Lord of the Rings stuff, lots of tokens. No real basics. I thought there'd be more basics. I'm definitely gonna pick up some of those Lord of the Rings Shire lands as well. Not I guess they're not Shire lands, I guess they're just Middle Earth lands. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these. Let me know what you think. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And I'll see you next time, guys. Really appreciate it. See you later.